Hello guys and you're welcome back. So in this section we're going to create our albedo texture and plug that into our albedo. So uh, let's just go ahead and begin. So the first thing we're going to do is to actually displace our albedo in time. So let's create a, a sample texture node. A sample texture 2D. And let's just create a, a texture 2D asset. And then we'll just plug in that texture to the asset into our texture node. So right here, we're just going to pick uh, some sort of the default material. So let's go ahead and pick this uh, ground metallic. And also we'll make this a, a public property. So let's just say uh, public property. And let's go ahead and just give that our name. So it's saying ground metallic. We don't want that. Let's just call this uh, albedo. albedo texture just like that and so we can always open that up and look at it or even like you know change it to any of the uh, textures we feel we want to use but I feel this one is kind of okay so uh, let's just go ahead and move on so now that we have that uh, texture in the way let's go ahead and create a simple animation that is going to scroll our uh, albedo and make it uh, you know move around so first thing we're going to do is to create a time node. So let's just say time. And once we have time, let's drag out the output of time to a uh, multiply node. And let's create a vector one property so we can actually uh, add that. So let's create a vector one and let's call that speed. I think we have speed already. Let's go ahead and just quickly look at that. So there is no speed good, so speed is good. So now that we have that speed, just go ahead and just drag that and we can set a value of say a 0.5, just like that. And let's drag out our speed and let's close our back blackboard and let's plug in the input of output of speed into the input of multiply B. So the next thing we're also going to do is to create a tiling and offset. So let's just drag these two, just these two, and drag that to the right. And when we click our output, let's look for a tiling and offset. And what we're going to do is to just pass in the output of our multiply into our offset. And let's just take the output and pass that into the input UV of our sample texture too. So we can see that, uh, you know, gradual uh, movement right there. We could actually go ahead and even change this if we want, but we'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is. So next we're going to create an add node. So let's create an add node. And basically we want to add the uh, sample texture. So we can just kind of combine it and we're going to change a color. So we would create a vector and then we're going to create a color. So let's just create a node and call that color just so we can, uh, can change that to HDR. We're doing this just to make sure uh, we have the ability to just slightly change or tweak the color to any color we want. So let's just do that and let's just drag that into our color input. And we can go ahead and just drag this because we don't want it to be totally, you know, disappear and you can see the kind of effect we uh, get just to have a slight gradation of that change. You can go ahead and use any vector you want. So for this, let's uh, make this a property. And it says color four. Let's just call this uh, add color. So just call it, uh, well, let's say, uh, albedo color or something you can change it to uh, any <laughs> any value you want and now that we have that albedo color let's just go ahead and drag that into our where are you come over here so we can see you so let's just drag that into our albedo slot like that and let's go back to our main preview and see that so if we just detach it to see the difference and let's just drag that into our albedo. Nice. 
So uh, let's go ahead and continue working on our uh, object, our shader. But before we do that, let's go ahead and group this. So let's just call this, uh, press control G. And I'll call this, uh, call that albedo. Albedo group. So let's go ahead and continue working on our graph in the next lesson.